mentioned, I wanted to make some remarks about uh, about that as well. Um, so, so recall what we did. Here's a summary of last lecture. So we took a simply connected space. Uh, finite type. For instance, a, a CW complex with finitely many cells in each dimension. Um, now, to each such a space, we can associate the minimal solvent model. And then we discussed the homotopy transfer theorem, saying that, well, to any commutatively differential graded algebra, we can transfer. Uh, so, just going to indicate. So, here we do homotopy transfer and we get a, a C infinity algebra structure on the, the co molar link, um, which faithfully records the rational homotopy type of the space. Uh, but then there's this perspective of infinity algebras, namely every Sullivan model is can be identified with the uh, code chains on a uniquely defined L infinity algebra. And moreover, the underlying graded vector space of that L infinity algebra is isomorphic to the rational homotopy groups of the space. So here I have the L infinity model, which is these are the shifted rational homotopy groups. And this is an L infinity algebra. <clears throat> and, and I can uh, get to the sovereign model by applying Cochains, and we ended last lecture by saying that oh, Cochains actually establishes an, an, an equivalence of categories between, on the one hand, uh, Sullivan algebras um, with ordinary maps of CDJs as morphisms, and L infinity algebras with infinity morphisms as, as morphisms. Now, there's what about this corner? So, uh, well, we can apply. The, 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 again, taking the, the sort of the Lee version of the bar construction for uh, C infinity algebra and taking its linear dual, we get um, differential graded Lee algebra. To be precise, we get a complete differential graded Lee algebra. Um, but under these hypotheses, um, the ordinary Lee algebra will actually be uh, complete already. So here we can apply the functor that I denoted by L upper star. And we get the Lee model, um, which will have the form uh, L of so, so, so W with a differential where W is, is isomorphic to the suspension of the rational uh, reduced rational homology. And to close the circle, uh, we could also start with this DGL and do have homotopy transfer. And uh, well, if we do that, we'll get back here. So these are ways of moving around between the different models. So now, Sander, yeah. the first letters X and Y are got, so they're not visible here. Are you sure? They're visible here. So I think on the iPad it's a long road. So, um, so we have these different models. Now, there is an extension of this to not necessarily simply connected spaces. So what you can do is, uh, if we drop uh, simple connectivity, we still have a diagram of the sort, but we need to make some modifications. So there still exists a minimal Sullivan model for any connected space. The Sullivan model need not be of finite type anymore. It's a finite type. It can be taken to be a finite type if and only if X is nilpotent. But if X is not nilpotent, it will not be a finite type. Okay, but it exists. Um, well, this still exists, no problem. Uh, here we need to take the, here we really need to pay, pay attention and take the completed uh, free Lie algebra. Uh, but we still get a, a complete differential graded Lie algebra model. And here we should we get a, a, you know we, we should not take we do not get back the rational homotopy groups of the space that might even not make sense I mean 
pi one of a connected space could be any any group, and there's there's no good sense in which to rationalize it. So what we should put here is the homotopy groups of the Bauhaus field con Q completion of the space X. So let me make some remarks about that space. Um, and, and this would be now a complete, so, so this will now be a, a complete, yeah. this will now be a complete L infinity algebra. So, uh, I'll screen form. Uh, so it has uh, it's a it's a entirely simplistic construction. I will not review the definition, uh, but I will review some of its basic properties. So uh, recall that uh, it is true that two spaces uh, you can detect rational equivalences uh, by applying the, this Q completion factor. So it records the Russian homotopy type in this sense. But a big warning here is that um, uh, there's a canonical map from X to its completion. And it does need not be uh, a Russian equivalent. And recall that rational equivalence always means rational homology as a model. Uh, it will be for nilpotent spaces, but in general, it will not be. So, uh, so it is. So, so for X nilpotent, and I mean, important spaces include simply connected spaces. So, in particular, for X simply connected, or let me state it for simply connected, actually. Um, we have that this is a, a good rationalization. And the homotopy groups give you the rationalized homotopy groups of the space X. Uh, but now, but interestingly in general, uh, so, so um, in general, there's no good, I mean, the homotopy groups of the Q completion could be radically different from the homotopy groups of the space X. Uh, but in general, we can say some things in general, uh, is that X is of finite type, uh, the pi one, of the Q completion is isomorphic to the Maltzer completion of the fundamental group. Uh, and, and this is the Maltzer completion that appeared in the Tanyas. So it can be defined uh, as uh, the group like elements in the completed group ring of the, of the group. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so those were some remarks, and and well, I'm saying here that we do homotopy transfer, so you have to be a little bit careful. This is a DGL, so its homology groups will be, you know, it's, it will be some, uh, you know, an infinity algebra. So where's the group? And the the, the answer is that if um, uh, the zero homology is a Lie algebra, and that is the Lie algebra associated to the Maltzer completion to pi one. And there's a, I mean, there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between Maltz and Leon, the best Maltz uh, groups. For, for a great account of this, you can see Quillen's uh, treatise on, on rational homotopy theory. So that the, they contain the same information. So that's how you should interpret this um, uh, when, when X is not necessarily simply connected. Okay, so those were some uh, remarks about. <laughs> And, uh, and, and by the way, I mean, uh, 
yeah, an example of a space which for which you don't get a, a Russian equivalent is if you take a wedge of circles um, of you know at least two circles, that space will not be two in the terms of Boskov form. Um, the Q completion of that space will not have the will not be Russian equivalent to, to the to to the original space. Uh, okay, so now, uh, yeah, actually, well, if there, before we start today's lecture, then maybe there are some questions about the remarks I just made. No? Great, so, um, so now I want to, I mean, today I want to discuss, there's a beautiful relation between the concepts of formality, co-formality, and the notion of Kuzula was, um, and uh, I mean, uh, formality uh, in the sense defined by Ricardo today. Uh, so I want to discuss this this, uh, this relation. Um, and um, let me just head straight to, I mean, I will not have time to give a proper introduction to Kuzula, but it's a beautiful algebraic theory. I'll just give you sort of the minimum amount of definitions so that I can state uh, the, the results. Um, so let's begin by defining Kuzula algebras in the context that we're interested in, namely the context of Lee and commutative algebras. I should mention that there is a general theory of Kuzul algebras over a Kuzul operat, and this has been written by Johan Miles. Uh, uh, so there's a, a good account of that in his paper. Um, but I will only talk about Kuzul algebras for Lee and commutative algebras. And then also later today, I will talk about a notion of Kuzula algebras for L infinity algebras and C infinity algebras. Okay, so let's begin. So, um, so let A be a graded uh, commutative uh, uh, algebra, non unit of. This will, I mean, this will almost always be the reduced commodity of the case. Now assume A has a weight gradient. So an additional gradient, in addition to the cohomological gradient. It could be the same as the cohomological grading, but most often it will not be. And such that it's compatible with the multiplication. Um, in obvious sense. Um, so then this induces a weight grading on the Lee version of the bar construction. So, so recall that this was the co-free Lee co-algebra on the suspension of A and with, with the differential B, which reports the multiplication. Uh, and now we, we don't have any infinity structure yet, just a normal algebra. So B will in fact be a quadratic differential on this. Uh, so what this is a weight creating? Well, I can say it like this. So uh, I'm acting, this is suspension. Uh, And weight negative uh, one. So I think I really think of a weight gradient as an extra cohomological grading, and I, I, I interpret all construction, you know, in the usual way, whatever when you carry out carry over uh, cohomological gradings on on various construction. Um, okay, and then I mean, so then we have pushed down uh, the degree. I mean, we have stuff in now in weight zero and and and, and above. Uh, so this uh, will then uh, have the following form. We get a, a coaxing complex from this weight grading, and the bar differential will be homogeneous uh, of weight uh, uh, plus one. Uh, 
I get a complex like this. And the definition is that A is called Kuzul, the Kuzul algebra, if this is um, exact sequence. Uh, so that means that, uh, well, the, you know, the, the, the exactness here it doesn't make me make sense because I haven't put anything here. So, so it means that the homology of this whole complex is equal to the kernel of the differential here. That's what it means. Uh, you can compute the homology of this by just taking the, the kernel in wave one. Excuse me, wait zero. Okay. You have a question, Alexander? Alexander, you have a question in the chat. Yeah. He's confused by the, the, the cohomology of the coaching complex. Have a look well, at the I, I think, you know, everything is, uh, well, let's, okay. Uh, uh, it's a coaching complex and the, the cohomology is concentrated in, in cohomological weight degree zero. That's all I'm saying. Is that not, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, you just use homology as generic notation for taking. I mean, I don't really distinguish between coaching complexes and chain complexes. I see coaching complexes as, you know, chain complexes, but I've shifted the degrees to negative ones. Uh, sorry if this is not uh, reflected in the notation. Uh, Yes, and then we can similarly define uh, a graded E algebra and equal to zone if it's a matrix. Equating such that um, uh, yeah, brackets and uh, um, Take the Chevalier Eilenberg complex, a similar consideration shows it's uh, concentrated in weights uh, zero and, and above. Um, so I'll just say it has some energy. Uh, concentrated in weights zero. Okay, so it's the same, you just do the same thing. And then let me recall that um, this was the co free co commuter co algebra on the suspension of L with, with the Chevalier Eilenberg uh, differential. So, this is actually the classical Chevalier Eilenberg differential now because it's just, just, an, it's just a grain of the algebra. Uh, good. And then some of the main properties. Um, <clears throat> So some properties. So if A uh, is Kuzul, 
then it is actually a quadratic algebra. It's generated in weight one, and it has relations in weight two. So, um, um, yeah, so for them, uh, A equals two. And I'll, I'll, I'll use V to denote the generators of my algebra throughout the talk. So this the text um, and as relations and the relation. Uh, and for that. And then more precisely, uh, I mean that. So being generated in degree one means that I have a surjection. So again, lambda denotes the free graded commutative algebra uh, um, on the E. And saying it's generated in degree one means that I have a surjection of algebras. Okay, so the kernel is some, some ideal. Uh, and uh, this ideal is generated in, in weight two. That's what the quadratic means. Uh, so we're. Um, by R, where, where R is just, uh, the, I mean, restricting this to, to weight, weight two. So once you know what relations hold in weight two, you know the whole algebra. That's the point. Uh, the algebra is determined by what relations hold in weight two. So I want to give this sequence a name. Um, so I would refer to it later. Do you plan to give an example at some point? Sorry? Do, you, do you plan to give an example? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so there will be tons of I mean, I, I want to keep this short and then just discuss okay. the rest okay. of the lecture. <laughs> so, so, just but, for the uh, yeah. we, we saw one yesterday, but I, I see no more. Sorry? We, we saw one causally algebra yesterday, but I, I will not yeah, say. I, I will discuss that, yeah, <laughs> also. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, Right, and then similarly, if, if, if AL is, is platoon, I mean, this is the same statement for the L does hold, um, then uh, L is, you all know what I will write, but this is to introduce notation. So um, uh, this is generated by W, which is L1, and for that, So uh, you have uh, only ideal and you have surjection and the day is the Lee ideal. By, by S, where S is the, the, the kernel weight two. And this sequence I will denote by two. Okay. Uh, okay. So now um, we say that an, a, a graded algebra is pursued with a graded D algebra with the following holds. So uh, Say that A and L are presumed dual or quadratic dual. Um, so th this notion makes sense for any quadratic algebras. Uh, I will only need it for presumed algebras. Um, not all quadratic algebras are presumed, uh, but um, anyhow, um, we have that A and L are presumed dual if. Is a non-degenerate 
Perry. So B is, is a bit generators for A and W to generators for L. And I, I say that the, 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 those are, are dual to one another. But because of the, these issues with you know, anti symmetry versus symmetry, I need to shift so that those are, are, are cancelled out. So I need a non degenerate pairing of degree of degree one so that the is isomorphic to the suspended, uh, the suspension of W dualized and and similarly, uh, W is isomorphic to the suspension of the dualized. Okay. Um, so uh, let's pair and such that uh, such that the relations are orthogonal with respect to this pairing. So the relations are for, for the alpha A, they should be orthogonal to S under uh, under the induced pairing. And in fact, they should not only be orthogonal, they should be the orthogonal complement under, under the induced pairing. And here you get really strange signs because of the shift of business, uh, but that's something you just have to live with. Ultimately, this theory should really be written for shifted the other bus, but I want to stick to tradition here, so I, I want to write for the other bus here. But um, if one were to reply to all the Russian homotopy theory, then one should really work with um, shifted the other. So this pairing now has to be two, and it's given by by the following formula. Uh, uh, and yeah, the, the signs are terrible. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's really important to get them right, but I don't know if I, I mean, should bother you with them um, here. Uh, but that's something like this. Um, 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 yeah, so in other words, um, <clears throat> This means that the sequence one, if I take the linear dual of the sequence, I obtain the sequence two. Uh, I mean, I'll take the dual with respect to this pairing. Uh, uh, up to, up to. And this is important because it tells you already that uh, this illustrates a principle, namely that if you have lots of relations on one side, then you have few relations on the other side. Because, well, if, if R is big, then the orthogonal component could be small, and so on, and vice versa. So there's a sort of a, um, so that, yeah, that's, a, that's kind of an you know, important thing. Um, so now let's, See how this enters in, in, in topology. So, um, and so let me state this part in the in the way. Um, yeah. So.
X is simply connected to a finite type. Then, as we saw in Ricardo's lecture, uh, X is called formal if the rational homotopy type is a formal consequence of its cohomology with just a couple product. So that the classical definition is that the, the Sullivan polynomial different forms is uh, weakly equivalent to the cohomology. Now the cohomology just with the cup product, no C infinite structure. Um, uh, as, so this is the or if you like, uh, I mean, the, the, so Ricardo mentioned this result. Uh, I mean, that you, you, you could replace the this by the by the co-chains, the rational co-chains on the, the space X by this theorem of Asher Um And dually, um, X is called co-formal if the Lie model for X. It's a formal differential gradient V alpha. But the name formal for a space is already taken, so we need to come up with a new name. So uh, this is formal if and only if, I guess we can say it like this. Um, um, uh, uh, yeah, let, let's say it like this. So this is Quillen's. Uh, Differential gradient V alpha. Um, and here, there's also a, an equivalent statement that was proved by Bashar Saleh that you can uh, you can equivalently say that a space is conformal if only if the um, differential gradient alpha chains on the base loop space of X is formal as an associative differential gradient algebra. That's equivalent to the statement that the DGV algebra. Uh, is formal if and only if it's universal enveloping algebra is formal as an associative algebra, not necessarily taking into consideration the whole algebra structure. <clears throat> and so the, the, the theorem, which is something I, I, I mean, uh, this is something I elucidated some years ago. Um, so the following are equivalent. Uh, so it's, it's simultaneously and oh, um, X is uh, formal. And the commodity algebra, this is an algebra now, the product is a Kazoo algebra in the sense we described. So there exists some weight grading, not necessarily the cohomological grading, for which it is pursued in the in the above sense. And three x is co-formal, and uh, moment of the algebra. Is uh, furthermore, um, when the conditions hold, uh, we have that the cohomology ring is, uh, or oh, I guess I should have to read this. Um, uh, so uh, the co-monitoring will be consumed into the rational homotopy. Uh, when the condition hold, uh, H.
they are Kosovo dual. Now, to be Kosovo dual entails having a non degenerate pairing between the composables. And this pairing in this case has a very nice geometric interpretation. It's the Hurevich pairing. So, uh, or rather, the restriction of the Hurevich pairing to the composables. <clears throat> Uh, so, I mean, if you have a commodity class and a, and a homotopy class, um, what you do, let me take uh, x paired with alpha, is when you apply the very average homomorphism to, to the homotopy class, you get a commodity class and you compare the commodity class with it. Okay, and then say, so, I mean, this shift of this here, there's no shift of degrees, but then I, I since we have been insisting ever since Quillen wrote this the first papers on homotopy theory, we've insisted that we shift the Russian homotopy groups to get three algebras. And so when you do that, you get a pairing of the group with plus one uh, and also signs the concept. But that's, that's just something I do. Um, so that's the statement. So. Now, actually, in view of my remarks before this lecture started, uh, this can actually be upgraded. And this is something I didn't know uh, when I wrote the paper. Uh, when I wrote the paper, I was aware of, I mean, uh, the Nysendorf's model, which gives nice Quillen models for finite types near potent space. So you see the problem with Quillen's differential derivative algebra is that it's only defined for simple. But now, I mean, uh, with, with you know recent developments, there are some very nice new theories of Lee models for not necessarily in open spaces developed by Bruce, um, Felix, uh, Murillo, and Henry, which actually produces Lee models. So they have a notion of minimal Lee model for a, uh, a connected space of, of a finite type, and using that, and it's actually equivalent to 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 uh, to this Lee construction that I, uh, I talked. So, so here we can actually just assume X is connected a finite type. Then we need to, this is fine, uh, but then here we need to modify this uh, and take this, the same thing as in the beginning of the lecture. So the lean construction on the cohomology of X with it, its uh, transferred the infinity structure, okay? Uh, so this this would be some complete uh, CDGL of the form. And so this is equivalent to the minimal model of, of the, the, these four authors that I mentioned. Um, and um, under these hypotheses, I mean, you can have you you. You, you, you should replace this by the homotopy groups of the Q completion of the space. Um, and then similarly here, and, and I guess and I guess here. Well, um, let me maybe, maybe not make any statement about what, what the pairing would be in this case, but it can be worked out. But you see there, there's, there's an upgrade, which is actually not uh, in, the, in the reference, but this is something that Okay. I have a question, Alexander. So the, the, the theory of uh, Bush, Felix, Tanri, Murillo, the, the, the theory of Bush, Felix, Tanri, Murillo, it eats a, any simplicial set and produces a DGB algebra out of that. But you, you said that they still need some assumption. So for this construction to be a model, or, I mean, the construction exists. In, in any case, we don't care. And the claim is it is a model under some mild restriction. That's your claim. All right. So I was actually thinking of giving a review of the recent developments of, of uh, realizations of L infinity and differential derivative algebras, uh, but maybe not today because I don't think I will have time for that. So maybe if we can postpone that discussion to 
the beginning of next lecture or so for um, uh, but yeah they they prove is i mean they produce a minimal Lie model it's a complete differentiated Lie algebra for any connected space of uh, finite time and it's it's equivalent to equivalence model in the case when x happens to be simply connected mm. uh, and in general it it, it uh, you know it, it can be used to model the possible form superposition and it's it's the same i mean it's 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 this thing you can take this as a that's not how they they, they define it but they, they actually uh, well, I mean, you can extract from from their work that it's equivalent to this thing. You have questions in the chat. If you can address them, we have two questions in the chat. The word for them. <clears throat> So let's see. So now, uh, okay. So now this was, this was the main sort of statements. So now let's discuss examples. Okay. Um, so if I'm Alexander, there is a question which says, uh, "What about the converse? I mean, that the space with causal dual homotopy." And, and cohomology is formal and conformal. Yeah, we talked about that. So, so can you say something in this direction? So what's the question? So I, if you have a space such that... So it is, it's Jose is asking that in the chat. So has there been any progress on showing or finding a counterexample by the space? Uh, yeah, right. So what you can say, if, if you have a space that fulfills the consequences here, Namely, that the cohomology is presumed and the, the homotopy is presumed dual. Um, I mean, you can say this certainly implies that the Quill and uh, an element more spectral sequences collapse, but there's a subtle difference between collapse of the spectral sequences and formality or, or, or co formality. And um, I don't have an example that I can give you, but I suspect one can be constructed. But it's actually, I guess, it's open to actually write down a, a concrete uh, campus. Come, come. Okay. Yeah, sure. But if you come. And, and Paolo, yeah, Paolo says that over there is that he has a counter so I, I was actually going to mention that later. <laughs> so okay. this will come. Up. I don't know over the over Q, but I believe that uh, a related problem over Z two, uh, I have a counter example. Yes, I will discuss your counter example. Yeah, but instead of homotopy groups, so you have to to take the uh, chains on the uh, homology of the loop space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. So. Um, Okay, examples. So, um, let's. <clears throat> so, first, two simple examples. Okay, so then you can think of it. So, a special case we, we always have consumed if, if one of the guys is free and then the other guy is trivial. I mean, you, you, on, on one hand, you have no relations, and on the other hand, you have all possible quadratic relations. And that has a nice geometric interpretation when that happens. So, namely, uh, this is a characterization if you want, of the rational homotopy type of, on the one hand, suspensions. Uh, so, here I guess it should be connected, um, but let's, let's not worry about that. So, for suspensions, it's well known that uh, rational homotopy groups, well, this is the same as. Um, the rational homotopy groups are sort of the free loop space on on X, and this is well known to be free Lie algebra on the reduced. This is sort of related to the James construction. Uh, and so here we have here we have W is equal to so so here is our W. It's the reduced homology, and the relations, the Lie relations in this case are. are we have no relations, and and the Cousin dual in this case, and and by the way, three things are intrinsically formal. Anytime you have a free Lie algebra or a free commutative algebra, right, it's automatically going to be formal. So formality is, is or here co-formality is immediate, and then there is this commonality of uh, suspension. Of course, we all know that uh, well, the cup product is an unstable operation and it vanishes in suspension, so the ring structure will be trivial. 
that is also a very well known classical fact. So here, but formulated in considerable gravity terms, you know, we're going to get uh, we're going to get this where v is you know, um, uh, 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 yeah, it's just this good thing itself, um, and, and r is the all quadratic all quadratic relation. Okay, so this is an extremal example, uh, and another extremal example is. Uh, an Ekman Hilton dual to this is, is loop spaces. So, uh, loop X, I guess here yeah, I want X to be two connected. Uh, I guess, yeah, let that just take two connected for simplicity. Um, now, in this case, it's well known that the cohomology of any loop space, or more generally of any H space, is, is a Hopf algebra. And by the structure theory for Hopf algebra, it's going to be three graded commutative. Um, so, this is. Very beautiful thing on on v, where v is is can be taken to be the dual uh, rational homotopy groups and the relations in this case the the commutative relations is zero here and and the and the homotopy groups. Now this is trivial, it's an abelian and the other. And that also has a geometric. We already knew that sort of, I mean, because white set products on the loop space are trivial. Uh, and so here we get <coughs> uh, uh, this is just, I mean, this is our W and we have to take, take all the relations. And, and uh, yeah, so S is, S, yeah, this is our S in this case. Okay. <coughs> And I mean, the weight gradings are the, the obvious ones. I mean, the, the trivial algebra is concentrated in weight uh, one. And then the free algebra, the weight grading is given by polynomial length. I mean, the, 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 uh, the word length in the generators. Let's discuss some some you know, not extreme example. Uh, here's a uh, a nice example. So so highly connected manifolds, and by that I mean so that M when M minus one can equal oriented uh, manifold uh, of dimension uh, at most 3 and minus 2 uh, then and I guess here M is the two. Uh, so any such space is necessarily formal because there's no room for the higher C infinity multiplication. So recall that Ricardo mentioned that formality uh, is equivalent to th that the C infinity structure on the cohomology is C infinity isomorphic to something where you only have M2, you only have the, the multiplication and the higher operations are zero. Um, and here, so this is formal. Uh, I mean, just by 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 think, looking at the degree consideration. I mean, if you plug in k elements in M k, they have degree at least n because m is n n minus one connected, and so you plug into degree, and you see that that degree will be above. 3n minus 2. And so if I assume that the dimension is, is 3n minus 2 or, or below, these operations will have to vanish for degree reasons. Um, that's formal. And then you can check, I mean, uh, you can easily check that this is uh, actually a Kuzul algebra. 
So um, this is will have the form and it will be spanned by you have some being the composables. So you have some vector space in the composables. So this is weight one. And then you have a single class in weight two, which will be the sort of fundamental commodity class. Um, and this, 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 I mean, the, the, you have this follows from Poincare duality. Um, and uh, the, the presentation in this case, so you will have lots of relations uh, because, so this is my, this is my B. Um, and here I just get a one dimensional, uh, 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 in way two I have a one dimensional thing. And this is essentially do with this is essentially the cup product pairing on the commodity. And so this tells me immediately that the dual, uh, you know, remember how do I get the causal dual? Well, I, I dualize the sequence and take that for that representation. And here that tells me that I only have since this is one dimensional, this will tell me that the causal dual will only have one single for that population. Um, and so what you get is. Uh, uh, something like here, where you can be quite explicit about what this element performing is. Um, and and so so. Um, yeah. Yeah, so there is a question in the chat. We should take cohomology, the commutative algebra, we should take the homotopy groups. This is a B algebra, or should take B algebra. Sorry. Uh, is there a way to, to make a calculus or a guess another algebra out of the two? Ah, okay, that's an interesting question. Um, I, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> so here we get that uh, the dual, uh, so the quadratic dual. Will be uh, um, w or so W is the dual of this space. So here, I, uh, I mean, uh, I can write, I can give these names. So I have alpha one, alpha alpha, or and these will be homotopy classes that are dual to these commodity classes under the derivative pairing. And then I have more than a single relation omega, and you can you can say exactly what the omega is. Uh, one. Where, where this is uh, this is the this is the concrete dual basis uh, uh, with respect to the with respect to the intersection form on the on the model. Um, and he, so to prove causalness, there are various ways you could go about. So that this is, has a concrete block of width basis. That's what I do in a paper with Kai on. But you could also say that oh, the quadratic dual has only one relation. And any such V algebra will automatically be Kosul. And then Kosulness of the quadratic dual is equivalent to the original thing. So you could deduce Kosulness uh, in that way. And so hence, Kosul, um, uh, if, if provided, or if um, so, 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 so uh, M is uh, formal. Uh, right, so this is this is an example. Uh, which is um, I think it's nice because it sort of blends this sort of uh, I mean the, the quadratic algebra of, of the intersection forms with the quadratic algebra of you know Kazula you know, presentations of Kazula and <clears throat> To add a fourth example, which will be the configuration space on the plane. This is my next example.
So I will use this notation. So F or M, comma M, will be the configuration space, the ordered configuration space of points, M points in the movement space of dimension M. Okay. And um, this is known to be formal for, for any M. So this is, um, I guess for M equals two, this, this really follows from Arnold's work, but it's, it's, it's implicit in the much deeper work of showing that the E and operatus is formal. I mean, if you look at the proof by Lambert symbolic, they, their proof of formality of the in operats entails a proof of formality of the individual spaces uh, in, in the in the e in operat. So um, so so this is this is you know uh, using big gun to prove us a small statement, but uh, anyway, it's it's implicit in their work. And I actually I don't know if there's there's any other sort of account of formality for this space except that works. Um, and the commodity ring is it's a beautiful quadratic algebra. Uh, three graded commutative algebra and certain commodity classes alpha j for let's see, I have n points, yes. Okay. So and then this is of dimension m minus one. Uh, and then I have the, the so-called Arnold's relation. Um, so so let me write them up here. Um, so uh, the for, but first of these clauses is The pullback of a generator for the uh, the commodity of a sphere along along the the map that we can have a configuration. We can look at you can focus on two uh, two points, uh, and you can look at the difference between those points, and you can sort of look at this. Uh, And look at the unit vector that is determined by the unit. So in which direction are the points? Um, um, uh, um, yeah, which, which vector do these map? Uh, so those are the commodity clauses and um, and there are not relations. Uh, are the following? So use the convention that J i is equal to minus one to the m of a i j if j is uh, greater than i. I mean, in my minimum generating set, I require i to be less than j. Um, so, so then I just introduce this as notation. And then the Arnold relation using this notation can be written as follows. So you have a j i a i j times a j k plus a j k a k i plus a k i a i j to be equal to zero. And then uh, depending on whether m is even or odd, I mean, if m is uh, even, then these clauses are odd dimensional. And then we're actually, I mean, then it's an honest exterior algebra. Uh, but if m is even, we need to impose uh, that uh, the square is sorry to be zero. For M all this is automatic. <clears throat> um, and now you can check that this is a console algebra. Um, it admits a concurrent group of which basis, for instance, and that's one group. And so we, as a consequence, can compute 
Nothing wrong with the group. Uh, as the quadratic tool. Okay, so it will be some some maybe alpha generated by uh, certain elements that are dual to these under the Hurriyevic pairing. So uh, alpha j, let me call them that, and they will have degree m minus two because of degrees. And, and again, it's the same. We have a bijection between the generating sets, and then. What you get when you calculate the orthogonal relations is precisely this train field corner. Relations. So the Arnold relations are orthogonal to the Jim corner relations. Let, let me let me remind you of, of uh, so the, these these are the ones that appeared in Damien's talk yesterday. So you have these um alpha j alpha j a zero or i and and then you have the stipulation that alpha i j alpha i j plus alpha j k zero. And here again, I use the convention that if I swap the indices here, I, I get the sign minus one. Um, so yeah, so that's a that's a and this this. Uh, this description of the rational homotopy groups was obtained by different means by, by uh, Fred Cohen and Sam Gitcher. But uh, I think this is a very nice illustration of how Kasul reality can be used to uh, get quick cal and non trivial calculations of rational homotopy groups. <clears throat> and actually, this works for m equals 2. Uh, but you have to, you know, Pay attention to what you, what you mean by the thing. So, so um, if m is equal to two, so so for you get, uh, I mean, you get that. Uh, uh, The Q completion of the space uh, uh, has what? So for M is equal to two, we get the Lie algebra and everything. I mean, M minus two is equal to zero. So it's concentrated in topological degree zero. So that means that the Q completion is a K phi one space. Uh, so this way. Uh, and uh, as we remarked earlier, the fundamental group of the Q completion um, yeah so sorry again I mean I'm, I'm using my other part here statement I, I, I could replace this by the by the homotopy groups of the And, and and so we get that this is corresponding to this uh, TN, where TN is the notation of Damian used. So this, um, uh, so so I mean, so excuse me. It's the this is the this is a multi completion. This is the multi completion of the of the uh, of the group, and it has so this is the multi completion. It has has the alpha. That's the correct statement. But the, but for a multi completion, I mean, the, the, the information contained in the Lie algebra or in the group is, is, is equivalent. Um, so, so, so. Um, and, 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 uh, and of course, the, the fundamental group here is the, the pure Bray group in M stands. So, so you recover the pure Bray group in this way. Uh, the multi completion in the pure group. And as, as Paolo already pointed out, uh, Paolo Salvatore has actually shown that um, this does not work over F2. So F, this is not formal over F2. 
for F2, meaning that the singular cochains with F2 coefficients is not the form of DGA uh, for and greater than or equal to four. So this is a very surprising, surprising result. Okay. Um, Alexander, Alexander, you have a question in the chat by Fredish. He wants to know about the formality and co-formality of new groups. Uh, so, a Lie group, so a Lie group itself is a, is, an, is a loop space, and so it, it falls under example two. Okay, thank you. If you have, if you want to put the classifying space of a Lie group, and you have a compact connected Lie group, the classifying space would be a simple connected space, but the co-monitoring of any, I mean, of Lie G for G compact uh, Lie is going to be a free graded algebra, so it's intrinsically formed by, by, by its principles that have been mentioned. Okay. So I want to mention one more example before we move to the L infinity and C infinity because of duality, uh, which is, is quite recent and it's I like it because um, I will not go into the details of this algebra. It's very interesting, but I'll just mention it. Uh, so it's the uh, Zero and bar. So this is the, the non chord uh, compactification. Of, of the modular space. Uh, of uh, well, this is the, uh, this is genus zero, genus zero curves, I guess. Uh, um, with, with uh, n more points. And this, the co-monitoring, uh, so it's known that this is it's formal, uh, it's apparently, it's, it's it, this apparently, I mean, for the genus zero curve, this it can be in the structure of a compact, it's a compact element. And, um, and, 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 and I mean, this famous theorem of Billing Griffiths, Morgan Sullivan shows that compact Keller manifolds are always formal. Uh, and the co-monitoring has, it's been known for a long time that it emits a, a nice quadratic presentation, but it was um, only recently proved that this algebra is actually Kuzui. And this is a result in Kudot Senko. So, Co-monitoring, and he actually proves integral that the integral co-monitoring is Kasol, which implies Kasol is a Russian co-monitoring. And and um, this is to lovely little thing. And I like this because when I wrote my paper, I mean, uh, the, the referee actually asked me whether this was an example, and at the time I didn't know, but that's important to prove. <laughs> but now it's been proven, and and but it took a few years. I like it. I didn't know it's, uh, it's, it's a really not an easy task to prove it's Kasumi. Maybe you can say why, I mean, how Vladimir uh, proved this. He proved this exactly, he is inspired by the operatic structure on the M bar in order to produce a genuine uh, Gregner basis. So the proof is not easy at all, and it relies ultimately to operatic ideas. Yeah, that, that, that's an interesting point for me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as Vladimir points out, I mean, the, the idea for the proof comes from operatic calculus. So yet another proof of the, you know, uh, why operatic calculus is, <laughs> is, is relevant. <clears throat> okay, so. So now in the last, so I, I have until one, is that? Engine 1, 1pm. Yeah, okay, great. So in the last 20 minutes, I want to discuss um, a more recent uh, uh, results on, on, which extends this story to infinity and L infinity. Because. So this is due to myself and my former PhD student, Kai Barrison. So we wrote this um, uh, theory for A infinity algebras. And what I will present here is an adaptation of that theory to C infinity and L infinity algebras. So that adaptation is uh, straightforward once you 
you know, know what the relevant definitions would be. I don't know if this fits into the framework of Jean Mibus. Uh, that's actually something I wanted to discuss. Uh, so this is not, I mean, it, it could be that, but but, uh, but but we didn't develop it as, as a facet of, of that type of theory. So the basic message is that it's very straightforward to generalize this, uh, at least if you presented Kasul duality in the way that I did today. Uh, so, so definition, just copy the definition from earlier of one noting that it makes sense. So I see infinity of uh, A uh, is Kasul. If it well, okay, so uh, we may need to uh, uh, modify the C infinity structure of the C infinity isomorphism. So, um, if it omits a weight rating. Um, such that and the, the, yeah, the, the, the key point is simply to treat this extra weight grading as a, a, another cohomological grading and from that it follows that we should mu ml as homogeneous of weight Two minus n. Uh, and you can write down the same chain complex as before. And I mean, the observation is simply that, well, this, you still get this weight grading on the, on the Lee construction. It's very straightforward. Um, so it has to have homology concentrated in weight zero, uh, and we are again as before, and this new construction is. Uh, uh, as before, in the cause of the suspension of A with the ball construction differential. So, I mean, the, the, there's a subtlety here in that the ball construction is no longer quadratic in, in, in terms of the uh, word length filtration or the word length grading on the Kofi B co-algebra. Because when, when you apply the ball construction, you apply the, all the different I mean, types of multiplications. I mean, so M3 will decrease the board length by, 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 by two, I suppose, and, and so on and so forth. So this is not homogeneous with respect to board length, but defining weight in this way makes it homogeneous of weight plus one with respect to this, to the, to the weight grading. Uh, so when this is weight graded, Again, I'm just treating the weight as an extra cohomological grading. Um, yes. 
And, um, and right, similarly, and I mean, you can all guess uh, how to do it for uh, an exchange algebra. Uh, and the weight grading. But now this should be again a homological weight grading for so FM uh, weight to minus n. So this is maybe, I don't know if it's surprising, but it, it, usually in our L infinite algebra, you know, the homotopy for space is homologically graded, L in S degree, N minus root 2. But here this should be again a sort of cohomological extra grading. Um, Okay. So, it's, so we just copy pasted the definition from before. If you start with an C infinite algebra that happens to have all the higher multiplications uh, trivial, then this recovers the definition of a Kasul algebra. Um, <clears throat> now, it's an interesting thing to think about what quadratic duality might mean. Uh, so, so here are some properties of the um, well, if L, I'll just state them for Kusul L infinite algebra, and you can imagine what it would be for C infinite algebra. So L Kusul L infinite algebra. By the way, maybe I didn't say so, but I assume that these have trivial differentials, so they're minimum L infinite and C infinite algebra. Um, then L is generated. Uh, in weight with one. And um, and this is, well, it's slightly more complicated to say, I mean, it's not uh, quadratically presented, but it's determined by its quadratic relations. Um, So you have you have some well, so it's generated in uh, weight one. So let W as before be the weight one uh, component, so being the composable, so the L infinity sound now. So okay, so sure we can take the free L infinity algebra, and we get a selection onto L, and then okay, then we have some idea here, an L infinity idea. Now, I don't claim that this is easy to describe in terms of the quadratic relation, but, but it's determined by the quadratic relation. Um, so I, I can look at R, which is the weight two component here. So uh, I think, I mean, uh, 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 so, so certainly, or the idea generated by R will be contained in I, but uh, I could be, could be bigger. However, if um, um, if M in or or Kasum, with the same uh, generators and, and with two relations. Um, then yeah, it would be, they, they would be uh, isomorphic. So I think it's a, um, um, yeah, so that's the statement. 
Now, uh, what about the Cousseau dual? So the Cousseau dual will not be quadratic. In fact, the Cousseau dual can have any type of relations now. Uh, so, so first a remark. So if if this is a really one non-degenerate pairing, so that I mean, so so, so that uh, V uh, is isomorphic to the dual of. Uh, um, so you have this relation on the spaces of generators. Um, then the way to uh, piece of the of the of the free and infinite algebra, this would be exactly the things gotten from W by applying uh, one an infinite operation. So by applying L2, you get quadratic things, but you could apply L3 and you get sort of, well, I don't know if you should call them cubic things, but, but this is the space where, um, 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 yeah, of, of all those things. So, uh, and this is due to uh, the whole the double suspension of the, Whole free graded commutative algebra. I mean, earlier we had the, the quadratic part here, but now we just get everything. So the relations can be anything. Um, and <coughs> Alexander, Alexander, you have a question here. I'm, I'm sorry, I know that the microphone does not work well. There is a question here, Alexander. Yeah. Okay, so my question is what type of filtration do you put on the free L infinity algebra? The IoT one? Sorry? What type what of filtration is it? What type so of I think I've said what the weight grading is. So the free L infinity algebra is, you know, with L infinity operator is a free operator on L2, L3, etc. And I put Ln in weight two minus n. Okay. So it's not by the number of vertices on the trees. Right. No, I, I, that's my weight grading. And that's how I do the weight grading on this thing. So uh, we say that uh, we say uh, let's see if I have an algebra. I mean, so yeah. So 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 this 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 now dualizes. This, uh, given such a pairing, dualizes up the shift to, to something uh, where it has all orthogonal, and then the dual of that is what, as I just said, the free algebra, and then I have some some important here. Now, I'm not saying that this is an ideal, but I can take the ideal generator by this, and so, and then, and then A, it's for so dual algebra. Now note that this or orthogonal can have relations of virtually any kind. And then there's yeah, again, there's a similar story for Kasul C infinity algebra. You know, I think you can all write it out for yourself now. So I will not I'll not uh, spend time on it because I'm, my time is almost up. So let me state the main the main theorem. Uh, um, so X again, and then, then and then later we go and use degree mark and make modifications. But let me state this here first. 
Um, so X is formal uh, if and only if uh, um, so they are infinite algebra. Is for sure. Moreover, uh, and in this case, uh, they are, I mean, this algebra is presumably. Uh, So this is what you can, I mean, if you want the story of quadratic equality to, to persist, uh, this is what you what you end up with. So there's some kind of quadratic equality, except you know, we're in weight two, but then the relations here can be two. Because we note that you can take any algebra here uh, as, as, as your commonality. Right? Uh, and then do the um, X is co-formal. And only if uh, 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 the same job is done. And uh, in this case, But now you start with the C infinity algebra and then produce a well a dual presentation of this. And here you could have almost any of the new relations. So this is a new characterization of formality and co-formality for uh, for spaces, which is close to the characterization we have for biformal spaces. Now, uh, my time is almost up, so, uh, but I guess I, I should, if you give me uh, five more minutes, I, can, I, I should give you some examples, I think. Uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yes. So, examples. And they will not be particularly exotic. Uh, This is a space that we all know and love, complex projective space. So this is well known to be formal, for instance, because it's a compact calendar manifold. Uh, now, uh, and then the, the cohomology is, of course, uh, a truncated polynomial algebra on the first chunk class. But this is. Not Kusul. It doesn't. It doesn't even admit a quadratic presentation. So there's no chance of being Kusul. So not Kusul, except when 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 M is equal to one. Okay. But then we can we can do. Well, we have. Um, yeah. So if I if I I mean we have nice homotopy classes here. So alpha is uh, the map from S two, which identifies with C two one. Which includes into CPM. This gives me a homotopy class, and beta will be the uh, standard projection from the odd dimensional sphere S and 2M plus 1, where I've realized complex projective space of this, this, this orbit space. Uh, okay, so this gives me two homotopy classes. And, and I mean, it's a well, uh, it's been observed long ago that. Beta is a higher order Whitehead product of, of alpha. So you can check that the higher order Whitehead product of alpha with itself, n plus one times, is equal to n plus one factorial beta inside the, the homotopy groups. 
in the, inside the home that you apply to um, the form of CPM. This is actually an integral statement. We don't need you know the full force of the integral statement. Uh, but but uh, this tells us that the homotopy D, however, um, or rather, uh, well, you can check that the homotopy D is generated by these two elements. Um, this now I put in weight one and I put this in weight two. And this turns out to be a consumer. Yeah, the infinity algebra in the in the sense, and but this is not a you know a strange thing. I mean, this is if you take the uh, the coachings on this n infinity algebra, you recover the classical Sullivan model and um, um, of, of CPM. And this extra weight grading that you get on the minimal Sullivan model actually, you don't know this, it, it coincides with the. Uh, the pi graded model of Halpern and Stasher. So we're recovering things that have been known for some time, but but uh, but in a new language. Uh, and you can check this. Uh, I mean, here you can you can check explicitly this this um, uh, uh, um, duality relation, orthog orthogonality relation between the relations here and the and the and the. But I, okay, I don't have time to do that, but. Um, let me just mention one more example and then I'll stop. Uh, so the second example um, is an example of a non-formal manifold. So we can define a manifold with dimension 4m minus 1. So this would be an, uh, so it's a manifold uh, by, uh, we can take uh, it sits as a total space in a, in a bundle, and I obtain this bundle by going back uh, along the collapse map here from SN cos SN to S2N. And here I take the, uh, the sphere bundle associated to the tanning bundle of, of S2N. So this is a sphere bundle of, of, of the tiny bundle. Um, and I put back again. And this gives me a smooth manifold of dimension 4 and minus 1. And it's an example of a non formal manifold. Uh, um, uh, but you can use this to calculate the Russian homotopy group. So for M is a non formal. Uh, but we can calculate the homotopy groups uh, very easily using the exact sequence of homotopy groups here. Uh, Namely, it's, it's, it's the span of process alpha, beta, which map to the generators here. Uh, so these are in degree m and one. If I shift it. And then uh, I have the Whitehead product of these two. And, and then I have, let's say, for simplicity, that n is old. And then I don't get anything else. Um, so this is in this dimension. Here, there's no room for, for higher L infinity structure. Similar to the analysis of the, the highly connected manifolds, so this is so that so so this is actually a co-formal uh, uh, manifold. Yes, and and the Lie algebra is, is and I mean this also makes a presentation as this cubic presentation. It's generated by a beta module with these cubic relations. And then um, you can calculate you can calculate the presumed dual algebra using this recipe that I'm erasing. And, and you get that uh, uh, the commodity ring 
it's a kusur, uh, it's a kusur infinity algebra, which in weight one, you have two classes A and B, in weight two, you have two classes X and Y, and in weight three, you have a class Z. And the multiplications are such that AX and BY the C, Z, and then the others are, are, are trivial. Um, um, but then you have non trivial uh, operations like uh, something like this. I forget, I'm probably mixed it up now because I'm, I'm stressed. But um, you have, you have a, some, some, I mean, non trivial multiplication here. So um, the under, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let me actually just stop here. This, this might suffice as sort of an indication towards, you know, this is an interesting notion, but I'm already way over time. So probably it's a good time to stop there. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Question online. Yeah, any question? Right. Everyone's sweet. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. Before Joan comes, I have, a, I have a comment and, and, and a question. The comment is there is another example that was proved recently is the real moduli space of G0. Yeah, yeah. Which is interesting that it appeared at the same time in that same cause result. Yeah. And I think the proof that the cosmology algebra is causing, yes. but they are not for more spaces in general. It's interesting. I actually tried to research this myself before because I thought I might take that up as an example. I uh -huh. couldn't find a proof of non-formality. Anyway, but maybe someone has... Uh -huh. So, so... so... Yeah, uh, I have a question. Um, you know, in one of the last square diagrams that you drew with M, to the 4n minus 1 and e at the bottom. Yes. Now, all the other, other objects in there are manifolds. Is e a manifold or related, or can it be related to a manifold? Uh, yes. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, the, I mean uh, it's a sphere bundle associated to the tangent bundle of, of the sphere. Okay. So you take the planet bundle of the sphere and then you take the unit sphere inside the fibers and then you get into a, a, a smooth bundle. Does that answer your question? Yes. Hi, Alexander. Yes, do you uh, I have a question on your first example. Well, isn't it possible to show that the cohomology ring is a C infinity causal algebra directly instead of uh, using the real algebra? Uh, which example are we talking about now? The first one, CPN. CPN, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Right, so so uh, I mean, so it's so the so the homotopy Li algebra is a Kazul and infinity algebra, but the Kazul dual of an Kazul and infinity algebra can be any algebra in general. There's no nothing special about Kazul duals of Kazul and infinity algebras. So, so yeah, you could say more things here because the only non-trivial and infinity operation is this. N plus L N plus one. And there is an older notion of N causality, which I think Roland Berger introduced and which has been studied from the point of view of infinity structures by Bruno Vallette and Vladimir Lutsenko. Bruno can correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, so there have been sort of, and uh, so I think the, this theory of N causality can be, uh, I mean, encompassed in this, in, this, in this language. And then CPN would be an example of. A space where the commodity ring is not consumed in the quadratic sense, but it's n plus one consumed in this sense of the burger. Because you as a C infinity algebra. Sorry? It has to be because you as a C infinity algebra. But the C infinity structure is trivial because it's a formal space. Yes, but is it possible to prove directly that it is because as a C infinity algebra? Taking uh, the... But it's not because as a C infinity algebra. 
So I'm not saying that the Kusur dual of an L infinity on the base Kusur in any sense. So well, but maybe I'm not understanding your question, sorry. Okay, thank you. There is one more question here. Okay, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the L infinity structure that you're using for your theorem on the homotopy groups, is it the transfer one from the Quillen model? Yes, but you have to be very careful here because you have to allow yourself to change the structure up to L infinity isomorphism before you can before you can uh, hope to put a weight gradient on it. So I'm saying that in the orbit under the action of all L infinity, uh, 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 I mean, um, I mean, changing the L infinity structure of it to L infinity isomorphism, there exists in that orbit one guy that is weight gradient and that has these properties. So that's different from the case of algebras because you know if an algebra has a weight gradient, then you can transport that weight gradient to a to a to an algebra isomorphism. So you have to this is this difference between ordinary algebra isomorphisms and infinity isomorphisms that are much more uh, flexible. And then the, uh, my my question was about the relationship with the whitehead products on the yeah on the um, homotopy as well. Right. Uh, and again, I mean, I think this is, is it's, uh, Jose is you that's asking this question. No. Well, so so I mean, there's this, I mean, uh, uh, there's this relation between the higher order whitehead products, which I plan to talk about, but I didn't get to it. But uh, there's there's uh, you can uh, the L infinity structure on the Russian homotopy groups selects for you uh, in a certain sense. Uh, higher order whitehead products uh, when they are defined and up to certain indeterminacy. Um, so, um, so the L infinity structure does the best job it can do to select higher order whitehead products, bearing in mind that higher order whitehead products are only partially defined and they're only well defined up to indeterminacy. Thank you. I think it's a good point to thank. Uh... So we're going to thank you and you can go for lunch, Alexander. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you.